Breaking now, huge plumes of black smoke and flames pour out of the once bustling factory for Zenith Electronics on the city's northwest side. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. The empty manufacturing plant caught fire earlier tonight and drew dozens of firefighters to the Belmont Cragen neighborhood. Let's get right to CBS 2's Audrina Vegas, live near the scene. Audrina. Good evening, Rob and Erica. They've got things under control right now, but firefighters are really working to chase those hot spots. There is still smoke, as you can see, coming from the roof, so it's going to be a really long night out here. A call came in around 6.30 tonight reporting smoke coming from the old Zenith Electronics Warehouse on Dickens and Austin. It took firefighters about an hour and a half to put out the blaze, which they say may have started in a roof line. There are more than 100 firefighters out here tonight and about 30 pieces of equipment to help fight this fire. The fire di district chief says this has been an attack from the outside because of bad conditions on the inside of the building. The building has been, had numerous fires. The roof has already had holes through it. It has uh, skylights in it. Building like this, that's half. There's only partial occupancy, to the best of our knowledge, that uh, it's just way too dangerous for us to, to enter and start searching. You've said you've seen several fires here over the last couple uh, of years. About three, and this is the wor by far the worst that it's ever been. And there hasn't been this many fire trucks out here. Here's a picture of the old Zenith plant. The company closed the building and laid off about 1,200 workers back in 1998. Initially, we were told the building has been vacant since then, but firefighters say it might be partially occupied right now. They're working to get to the bottom of that. Fortunately, no one has been hurt. No firefighters have been injured in this, and the cause of the fire is under investigation. Live in the Belmont Craigan neighborhood, Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News. Rob and Erica. All right, Audrina, thank you.